Welcome. Not sure if my camera is off. Might be. Um, but yes, tonight is book club. East side again, East Valley. It's been a kind of an overcast day today. Then the sun came out. It's overcast again. Um, yeah, but it's 79, 80 degrees. So spring pretty much is officially in Phoenix, which we have a short winter, so that's nothing unusual. I've already done my eyebrows, obviously. I'm not sure you catch them because they'll probably never look this good again. This is an accident, me trying to fix them. I ended up uh, using concealer to clean them up like all the other makeup people do, which I've seen a million times. And then ended up filling it in. And so, and it, I did my eyes, obviously, eyeshadow as well. It's just bronzer mostly and... Uh, the Sephora Sunset one. Which one is this? Eye Stories Palette Southwest Sunrise. Let me just open it. Might as well just show you. Uh, this one. I was on sale for like $7 or something sometime last year. And I've used it only a few times. I was going to sell it, declutter it. But uh, no, it comes in handy. Usually for highlighting and stuff like that. And, and then the bronzer, of course, I used for the eyeshadow as well. Transition color. And I've also put on uh, my usual Smashbox for primer. And I used the Black Radiance HD Corrector to balance out my face. I did all that already. So, I mean, yeah, book club. I'm not finished with the book. I like got 10 more pages. Um, but because I have to travel like an hour, there's rush hour traffic on a Friday. I may not get those finished those last 10 pages. It's, I think I'll be okay. So, so since I did all that, let's do some powdering. Which, I don't, well, that's enough right there. I don't have to open the lid like I usually do. And we're trying a new foundation, which isn't really a foundation, but a tint, which I realize is dewy. And I usually save it from the dewy because I'm just going to try to dial down that freaking oily eyebrows. I went to Walmart on my lunch break, so some of that oiliness. It's probably from being outside. Because uh, I don't always work from home. Uh, my schedule is kind of weird. Going to the office and work from home this week. Last two weeks have been crazy. Um, it, it's just been crazy. So we powdered, let us spray. Urban Decay All Nighter. Oh, uh, Laura Mercier Translucent was the setting powder, of course. And so yeah, I went to Walmart. I had to buy something from Walmart that I forgot. But I should just bought last night, but today. While I was there, I returned something, um, bought something else. Um, but yeah, we're going to the Thirsty Lion. I haven't been to Thirsty Lion before, um, but I've wanted to, so that's cool. Uh, eyebrows again are minted. The Brow Down and Brow Down Minted Precise Pencil. And concealers, Minted Concealer, which I'll be using again in a second. So now that we have that, we have a sample. This is the Glossier Tint, Skin Tint. And let's see, it's in G4. G2 is supposed to be my shade, but in the store, it's a little too dark. Um, let's see. It's Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint for dewy sheer coverage. So in the store, it definitely looks sheer. You put it on, it's like that I put something on. It costs $26 for a tiny bottle, $26. And it's like for you not to be able to tell you have it on. Just even out skin tone, so we'll see. And I watched a video, so if I put a little bit more, but still, this is kind of a chill kind of a little bit of coverage kind of for that kind of look. And again, once I put it on my face, you'll see and be like, Oh, yeah, that does look like but G3, either G3, maybe I don't know, maybe I can make G2 work. Once you look at that, yes, yeah, obviously, not my shade. Ow, did I forget to shake it? I did. Regardless, it's very watery. 
so I don't think it really mattered if I shook it or not, but we'll say we shook it. And set in the store, it was matching right there, so. So I can definitely make it work. So I'm just putting it on. And if it's light coverage kind of thing, that's fine. And it's been cloudy, looks like it's gonna rain, but nothing in the forecast says anything about rain. So that's why I'm like, okay. Using a brush, not my real techniques, and I just got stuff all over it. Okay. Even though I used a little thing, so I would not get anything on my hands. Okay. Uh, Real Techniques 200 brush. So, looks like light coverage. And probably because it's a lighter shade than they recommend, so look a little weird, but my face always warms up everything. Or, I guess, oxidizes, I don't know. So eventually blending it in, you can't really tell that it was too light. And you'll still be able to see my little freckles. On the lips is the Lies, L-Y-S, I'm sorry. Speak Love Glossy Treatment Oil. My lips are a little dry. But yeah, light for right now. But you can see some coverage. It's Definitely. Doing something, but again, $26. Try not to mess up these eyebrows. I said I happened by accident. Happy little accident. Okay. Uh, what time is it? So I'm trying to leave. said um traffic let's go with this light coverage i'm not trying to put too much of anything did have pimples earlier this week it's more than obvious ones but i use my pimple patches and benzo peroxide, whatever thing. A little cream on the spots, patches off and on. Wash my face like I usually do. Use retinol my one to two times this week, and it seemed to mostly other than that one right there. But that's fine. So. So yeah, I can still see, like I said, my freckles. It's very light. And then we're using a brush. I'm wearing a different shirt, so that's why I'm like, why do I keep? Because of the 80, I was gonna, I wore this just go to the store, but because it's warm, it's gonna be warm this evening. And by the time we finish, I had this one shirt that's perfect in between weather shirt. Oh, actually, I'll go that way first. I'm sure if I don't talk. <laughs> so gold is kind of, you know, a little lightish because of the type of uh, skin tint that it's meant for little coverage. It's nothing too crazy. And of course got from Sephora because they're now in Sephora. I, well, I've seen the advertisements for Glossier, but I don't even know if I'm saying it right. Um, but nobody's corrected me when I was in Sephora. But, you know, I didn't know what shade I was. Even though you can go by picture to an extent. And so when I finally went to uh, Sephora, which was unexpected to me, uh, I was like, oh, I can finally try it. I already have skin, skin tints, you know, whatever. But... If it wasn't $26 for this huge 
for this tiny little bottle, I'd probably definitely buy it for a light. Let's see what that is in my eyeshadow. For a light summer look of evenness. But I have other products that can do that, so I don't need it. Of course, who needs? You don't need anything. <laughs> But I think y'all understand. So yeah, it's been a long two weeks. We have like two days. I had two and a half days left. I had vacation time that I had to use by the end of this month. So I used a few hours last Friday to go to the spring training I'm using some more next week and then I need to find another day and then less than an hour which could end up probably being an hour what one is it? okay I'm watching my narrative report Tom Cruise I do like this movie so I'm trying to figure out you know use the time without going anywhere and without spending uh, too much money, I might just, you know, do movies all day one day. I did go to the movies the other day. What movie did I go see? Um, uh, wasn't Cocaine Bear. I want to see Cocaine Bear. Uh, it's going to bother me now. So let me, I'm going to powder and then... Do I do that? Movie I wanted to see. I'm gonna take it around here somewhere too. Uh, not cocaine, but uh, oh, Creed Three. Damn it! I don't know why I couldn't remember that. I was like, there's a black movie. It's not like there's all these black movies out since Wakanda Two uh, Forever already came out. I guess somebody's car. But yeah, Creed 3. It, it was interesting. They didn't address, spoiler, they didn't address where Rocky was. I'm like, um, where would Rocky be? Rocky was like, um, didn't mention him at all. I'm like, what? Other than fight with Apollo and whatever one that was. So I haven't seen them all, so one, four, five. Yeah, that's the only one I've seen. But yeah, they didn't dress that at all. And I know Sylvester's been in the news talking about how he wasn't involved. He still had producer credit on it. I saw that. But how, I guess, I just say creative differences is what I've heard. They didn't address it at all. I was like, how do you not address it? To me, again, spoiler, uh, Creed 3 was basically Rocky Five With Tommy Dugan kind of thing. That's how I saw it. Um, I had some good parts. I love that they used uh, the actress, the little girl was, had, uh, was actually deaf and they used ASL, American Sign Language, throughout the movie. That was cool. Uh, Fenty. Beauty, Matchstick. Espresso. So that was cool. I did like that a lot. Just warming it up. I'll do my nose first. And then let's do this that I've seen people do. So that was, you know what I didn't do? Let me blend my edges real quick, which I know I already put powder on. Talking. But yeah, because I've always wanted to learn sign language, so. And I know some from being a Girl Scout, so. But that was cool, though. And the, the actors also learned it, so. You know, she could feel part of the. Not feel left out. So I'm trying not to, because. Trying to go for a less lighter look to go with the foundation. 
That's why I'm trying not to put it all, but it's kind of use bronzer at all, other than what I use for my eyes. Okay, that will be. Usually I put it right there, I'll just realize that. And of course, Jonathan Majors is the it guy. He's in everything right now. Uh, Ant Man, whatever three, which I haven't seen yet. Mixed reviews I've heard. Um, but yeah, he's, he's this is his time. I'm glad for him. And he definitely worked out for that movie because dude was swole, which I've seen the pictures prior. I'm like, okay. It's like, yeah. Brush just a little bit of bronzer on it from leftover. I'm not adding. So whatever's on here. So I'm blend that concealer that's right there. So but I know. He's had Devotion came out end of last year, Ant-Man 3, um, he's in something else this year besides that, a lot of stuff, he's, he, he's gonna be everywhere this year, you know, now that things are opening up, um, even though I think that they've been filming since 2021, different movies, so. But all those movies have been coming out the last couple of years. Even though we're still part of the pandemic. That was it. Oh, gosh, not too bad. So I don't want to wait till last minute. Kind of got closed window blinds and go with mini speed bumps in my freaking apartment complex. So, Myrick's Beauty. There we go. And Prima Donna. I don't keep sanitize this because I keep using my fingers up. Use the brush. The brush I have, I don't think it's, it's good enough to be using. But no, I just sanitize in between when I use it, and I know I'm using it a lot on a particular weekend. So I'm going to a play tomorrow, I think. Anyway, uh, so it wasn't, I mean, I like the movie, it just, there's some issues with it. A friend of mine was like, all these plot things weren't, you know, completed, what have you. I thought about it, I'm like, yeah, that's true. But the acting, it was definitely good acting. You definitely believed. So. Um, between the two of them, the angst, things going on, things like that. Between, yeah, it was definitely good acting ensemble. So I think it, Mr. what I'm looking for, uh, nominated for something as an ensemble. Definitely. I think you kind of realize I'm going to be using the Nessa for a while. So whatever next thing. Oh, I'll go back to my Juvia's Place. It's that Neo. I do love that Neo. Maybe because it's cold right now, it's getting hotter. I have to set everything. I'll probably just use powders. Unless creamy stuff. And I'm 
upstairs neighbors are home. Yeah, it's about that time. Sometimes they get home a little earlier than that. I don't even know what y'all can hear and what you can't hear. But it's always very obvious. So yeah, there's definitely light. I see my freckles. I see my texture, which I'm fine with. I still need to get that micro dermabrasion though. It will help. Because I mean, some of it's just hormonal to being 44, perimenopausal. Um, my skin's getting kind of oily again. Like between 130 and 4, it's guaranteed. It's, it's not oily, it's oily, but it's weird oily madness. Like right here. So it's just it's just weird. So I gotta block my face between those times. And hoping microdermabrasion will help with that. Okay, so that's all that. Powder, let me set my face. Powder, then do my lips. Mm -mm -mm. Did I do that yes, I did. Okay. Uh, medium deep. I didn't pour that. Usually I pour a little bit. It's always in the lid, so I don't. Swirl it around. Now this gets everywhere. Even though. I don't know why I do that every single time. Like, this is not your first rodeo. Yeah. But I always be like, where should I start? And I know Ulta's having their 21 days of beauty coming up. A few things on there, just like lip products, really, that I was looking at. Or the Anastasia Brow Wiz. We finally got a price I can afford. So I might pick that up for when uh, I run out of ones I'm using as a backup as well. Okay. Let's do lips. My eyes mostly. Oh, you know what? Uh, I was going to add a little pink to them for the prima donna like I usually do because I have a little silver from the Sephora collection eye. I'm not gonna do that. So that's fine. Um, so instead, yeah, let's just go to lips. And then I'll spray before I finish my eyes. Uh, as priming, lip primer, ultra corrector and primer. Correct and perfect lip primer. Put it right there on top of. Yeah, why else? Because it pretty much fills in any cr cracks and crevices. And we are using, again, uh, KVD. Is that really rubbed off or I'm just blind? KVD. It's really that tiny. KVD. Uh, I wrote it down somewhere so I would not forget because I can't see. Uh, it's called Nas for a two. And I don't know if you can find the size anymore because they've been reducing things and bringing new things out. They have a new foundation, which of course my shade they don't have in store. I'm not going to buy it just to try it out. Uh, it looks good. Um, uh, influencer on YouTube. I watched her. We're about the same complexion roughly. Um, my shade she obviously bought because you can't get it in my store anyway. Um, Okay, that'd be nice, but I'm not buying another foundation. I would like to sample that one. Anyway, so Nas for a two, which is a matte. It's red. I wanted to wear a red lip. I was going to wear my Give or Gay GXVE um, on Stefani, but I was like, no, let me go a little bit deeper, not as bright as that one, even though I like that one. And I have a lip liner I found that matches it perfectly. I said I'm just going to go with this one. It's a little bit darker for this girls night and I don't want to block my lips <laughs> okay. there we go so I think I'm going to use this one maybe once
just gonna glue in the back out of my stash. I was looking up dupes last night in case I can't find this one anywhere. Who knows who she'll be? See, it's kind of not such a shit. I'm almost about to shit more properly. Usually I can eat stuff and it stays on pretty well. I really... Try to get to the air trick out. Going too crazy. It's like they come home and just move furniture everywhere. Then over there is place things to take with me. And I have a brush I can use and try this brush. Like, can y'all hear that? It's ridiculous. It's just ankle brush I happen to have. It always sounds like they're moving, and I know you're not. Speed that up in the video. Okay, yeah, that's not helping. We'll just let it go. Oh, this won't be perfect. And because that always makes things shiny. So, I'm going to do a quick, um, the lip bar, straight out of patience, for eyeliner, what should I do, was I going to, yeah it was, so I'm going to do first is take a little translucent powder, I did put primer on. Probably when I took eyeshadow. Okay. 
but I did want to just coat my line. Where's my tiny wall? My contact's already dry, so I don't, it's probably not helping. Yeah, I think my camera's crooked. Contacts. So I think my vision changed again, so that's why I haven't gotten new ones yet. Almost done. Yeah, I'm gonna leave some anyway. Really, I was like, oh, it's only eight minutes. I was in a rush out of traffic. I changed. Oh, that Danessa Myrick's um, color fix that I um tried out last video um i had to take it back i went to see creed did some kind of emotional times basically when i got out of there supposed to be masked supposed to be waterproof it was did not stay it stayed close to the eyes but then it came down anywhere wide right away it pretty much came down and i was like no it's the second time i've tried this and unless i don't do a wing or stay close I can't use it. Maybe I use just me. Because I see them doing on models and everything. You never see them use eye primer. Or they use the, the balm powder as primer. And I'm like, it's not staying for me. I'm not moving. Because in summer, things will move. You will be sweating. Even if it's walking from a car to a building. Again, it always never fails that one side would be thicker than the other. So, so I do this tiny wing. I should stop because I swear I end up in trouble every time. Make it a little bit thicker on the side. It's close to my lash line. Okay. So see that. And then, um, so I'm not wearing my Milani because again, it's cloudy. I don't know if it's gonna actually rain. If it's gonna rain, so I was gonna rain on that side of town. So while I was returning stuff at Walmart, uh, this is the Elf Lash It Out Loud. And waterproof, I guess they just came out with this waterproof. I, I like the um, the wand. I was gonna get my Lash Paradise again, but I was like, no, let me just try this one. It's also cheaper. And so I like this wand, so that's why I wanted this one. It's like my Milani one, but my Milani one. I already come out with waterproof. So I'm not wearing lashes today. And I didn't have that new one that my stomach was, um, that everybody's you know talking about right now. They didn't have that one, otherwise I would have got that one because the thing about Elf is it's always affordable. So I think this was six dollars. Yeah, six dollars. I mean, last pair is only nine ninety seven, something like that. No, because I went back to the sky high and. 
It just didn't feel the same. Like it was doing, like it did before. I think I just got used, spoiled or whatever. Not haven't used it in so long. Okay. Let's see something real quick. Let's see, as long as I don't hug people very tight. Okay, yeah, it's not too bad. You can't even see that. Look at this. So, yeah, let me. A helicopter. I don't know if that's because of the freeway by the freeway or oh, I don't look over somebody close over here. Okay, and then the earrings are Juicy Couture, the bronze rose diamond studs. So this is the box. And my mother gave these to me years ago, like at least maybe 20 years ago, and I really wear them. So I'm gonna wear them tonight. Um, I looked it up to see how much they normally cost. And apparently they're like, well, unlike Poshmark, this lady selling them for $10. So I know Juicy kind of made a comeback, but these are only $10 somebody's thought to sell. So I'm like, okay. I said I haven't worn them in a while. Um, but we'll go with them today. Simple. No, I'm totally wearing a different shirt. I'm not wearing a shirt. I'm wearing this blue and white shirt. Oh, gray. So, yeah. So, this is my final look with the uh, Glossier G4 the skin tint. So, yeah. That, yeah. So everybody have a good night, good weekend. Uh, hopefully I'll post this later today, but 